Well, Top Fuel is back already, and this is the semifinals. Tony Schumacher will come out against Spencer Massey. We'll show you the ladder for the semifinals. Morgan Lucas and Antron Brown up in just a minute. What great matchups we have in top fuel for the semifinals. Three Don Schumacher racing cars, and then there's a the lone Morgan Lucas team. Oh, Alan Nobby cars out there right now, though. Update on Gary Denton. Here's John. And of course, uh, we saw what had happened in that second round elimination with Jack Beckman as uh, Jack crossed the line, got over. There was some contact. Gary's team, along with help from Jack Beckman's crew, fixed the team with some sheet metal plates that they uh, that they riveted onto it. They got it out here. They did all of their work, got the car prepared, and they were the very first car out here in the lines. And Jack even came out and autographed the car. Jack Beckman was here and here. <laughs> well, Morgan Lucas on the line along with Antron Brown and Spencer Massey up there right now. Massey is looking to go to his first final round here at the Winter Nationals. That will be coming up against Tony Schumacher. Spencer alongside of Tony Schumacher. This, these guys went head to head with some fantastic races last year. Did you see Spencer, Spencer pull that gone. thing off the ground? Oh, look at that run. 374, 328 miles an hour. That is the second quickest pass ever and the fastest speed ever. Wow. Spencer is here to play and play big. And watch this. Once again, you're going to watch the front end here. I mean, that thing just carries the front end, does that one little bobble, and then hikes it up, and they're letting it get up there. It's not banging the wheelie bar real hard. In fact, you see it kind of just dragging there a little bit. But look at it carry that front end. 030 reaction time, popping it up a couple more times as the clutch starts coming in and the power comes back. Spencer knew that was on a great run because that thing was running 288 miles per hour at the eighth mile. Oh, that is unbelievable. And every crew chief that has passed Phil Schuler as he makes his way walking back to the pits to prepare for the finals said, man, that was outstanding. Did you know that that potential was out there? Uh, no, we didn't really try to run that good, but we knew Army car runs good. We knew I had to bring our A game up there. We were trying to run 76 or so, and it just ran a little better through the middle when we won. Just one of them all shucks moments, huh? Exactly. <laughs> right.